Hello everyone, today we introduce the triangulation modeling Poisson feature. First of all, you need to load the point cloud data of the roadway. The data has been cut, denoised, smoothed, etc. and most of the noise outside of the tunnel has been removed. But the noise inside the tunnel is difficult to remove with automatic and manual denoising methods, so the roadway is required. Extraction of surface point clouds. You need to click Mine Extract Tunnel Points on the toolbar at the top of the software. A dialog box will pop up and the Input Tunnel Point Cloud file. This algorithm needs to input the centerline file and remove internal noise by extracting the roadway point cloud within a certain range of the centerline. Acquisition includes both automatic and manual methods. Select Manual Drawing here. Click the Add Center Axis from Drawing button. Click the left mouse button to draw along the tunnel. Double click to end the drawing. And the drawn center lines will be added to the list. You need to set parameters. Step. The smaller the step size, the lower the efficiency and the finer the denoising effect. When the surface of the roadway is consistent and the direction changes smoothly, the value can be appropriately increased. Keeping the step size between 0.1 and 3.0 can get good results. Tunnel thickness refers to the average distance from the inner wall of the tunnel to the surface of the tunnel. Points in the lane way greater than this distance will be judged as noise points. Tunnel width, the maximum width of the contour section in the roadway, which determines the extraction range of point clouds on both sides of the center line. Set the default parameters and click OK. The extracted roadway point clouds results are shown in the figure. If you use the method of triangulation modeling Poisson to construct the tunnel model, you need to calculate the normal vector according to the compute normal vectors function and search for adjacent points within a certain radius for each point and then calculate the local plane based on these points as well as the normal line. The generated normal vector information will be stored as an additional attribute and the additional attribute field is normals. You need to click Mine Compute Normal Vectors Input the Point Cloud file. The search radius parameter is the neighborhood search radius of each point. If this value is too large or too small, it will cause a normal calculation error. Set it to 0.3, check, orientation, function. The minimum spanning tree will be used to optimize the consistency of the normal. Click OK. After the normal calculation is completed, you can right click on the point cloud file in the directory tree, select view mode, display additional attributes by RGB, select normals in the attribute column, and visualize the normal vector information to the point cloud data. You can judge whether the calculation is reasonable by observing the normal color and consistency. If the color along the tunnel direction changes abruptly, use the Compute Normal Vectors function again, adjust the search radius, and recalculate until a good result can be obtained. As shown in the figure, the calculated normal vector information is more reasonable. When you need to do Poisson modeling with the point cloud data, which produces a smoother model than the one produced by TIN modeling, Click Mine, Triangulation Modeling, Poisson, and a dialog box will pop up.
In the input point cloud file dropdown menu, enter the roadway point cloud. This function includes the following parameters. Every node sample, it is used to weaken the influence of noise on the reconstruction result. The larger the value, the stronger the anti-noise ability, but more details will be ignored. Set to 0 0.5. Point weight. The weight of the interpolation point of the Poisson implicit equation. The larger the value, the closer the reconstructed implicit tin surface is to the original point cloud. Set to 20. Resolution. The resolution of the reconstructed implicit tin surface. The higher the resolution, the denser the reconstructed tin, and more details will be preserved. Set to 0 0.4. You can click the preview button to preview the generated model. Click the density button to select the reserved model information. Click OK. The model starts to build. Set the output file name and path. The model is in OBJ format. Add it to the project. Open the left EDL mode for toolbars for enhanced display. You can view the tin skeleton of the model by selecting display wireframe in the display window in the toolbar.